you know, they have a, um, there's a leisure center. We call it a leisure center. And, and you know, there's a, a few pool tables and uh, there's an art room where they actually do pottery and painting. And just, it's just unbelievable some of the uh, talented people there are there. And uh, it always amazed me. Once a year they would have a, uh, an art show. They would buy art supplies and it was expensive. And then they, you know, they, they do paintings and they would sell it on the outside, like through, you know, family. They would ship it to their family and their family would sell it, sell a piece for whatever, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, and that's how they would, uh, you know, make money to, to live every day in prison. Did you have an art dealer? No, but I had my guys who I would go to for my greeting cards, right? So, you know, birthdays, there's guys, that's a whole other hustle, guys who do, the, you know, artists, uh, maybe not as sophisticated, but some of them very sophisticated, and their hustle was making greeting cards. So, you know, birthdays, weddings, anniversaries, whatever, graduation, get well. You know, you go to them, you know, you're, one of my kids' birthdays was coming up, or just go to them, hey, I need a card. You know, my daughter, she's gonna be 23, and uh, this is her name. And okay, uh, what do you charge? Two, two fish, three fish, okay. And, you know, if one guy was really good, you saw his work, and he did, you know, you'd pay an extra fish, so you pay him three fish. So, uh, you know, when the card would be ready, he'd come around, hand it to me, settle up with him, pay him the fish, and move on. Here's an example of a, an inmate-made greeting card. You know, big business, making greeting cards in prison. <laughs> 